I'm, am I the only person who doesn't know what this <laughs> is? I'm chronically online, so I know what Sonichu is. Does that, mm, that guy have two different colored eyes? Uh, yes, because, so, a little backstory on Christian is he actually believes that he has heterochromia, having two different colored eyes. But he, in fact, does mm. not, and it was just trick of the light. Also, if you don't know anything about, he is Christian Weston Chandler, or he was at the time of making this, and there's so much that's gone down. Christian Weston Chandler, <laughs> and he is... He describes himself at this point in time as a 22-year-old autistic virgin. Wait, is this the same Chris Chan that like got arrested? Yes. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the Christian that got arrested, Bell. For literally doing his ma. Yeah. yeah. His ma. Oh good lord. Okay, I'm glad I'm drunk for this. <laughs> this is a comic which Chris Chan drew, illustrated, and wrote. In 2004, whenever he was 22 years old, and we are going to be reading through it today, and possibly the second issue if you don't pass out by then or start dissolving from how horrible <laughs> the the comic is. And I would okay. I would also like to note that many of his comics take like years to draw through and create, but if you notice, his art style never improves. <laughs> <laughs> it It is baffling on how consistently that the art style just stays the same. I mean, I drew, I drew like this when I was like four, but like my art style got significantly better. Yeah. This is a 22 year old man. <laughs> this is a <laughs> 22 year old autistic <laughs> bitch. <laughs> This is this is volume zero, which is the origin story of Sonichu and Rose Chu. And John so premier issue as you see right there. I mean are there a set number of characters? Chris Chan writes in and out so many characters. It does not stay consistent. <laughs> He's an autistic <laughs> man virgin, so I mean he has a lot of characters. Well not a virgin anymore. Yeah, not a virgin anymore. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, well, Sonichu, so, hand drawn premiere issue. Cause Sonichu go zap to the extreme. I will, thank you, Father. <laughs> oh, and I would also like okay. to like point out the nice little copyright down there. And <laughs> you can see his copyright notice again. I like that he drew the little copyright symbol. Episode 1, Sonichu's Origin. Our story begins in an open field, five miles from the city of Station Square, which is under siege by the perfect chaos monster. While Sonic the Hedgehog ponders over the destruction, a wild boy Pikachu takes notice of the far-off destruction. You know, this is kind of like a Flowers for Algernon book, but it just doesn't get- <laughs> it just doesn't- it doesn't- it doesn't progress into, you know, becoming normal. It just gets even worse. I love that this was done in, like, marker, and then, like, scanned. <laughs> it was yeah. done in, like, three different kinds of- like uh, drawing utensil. There's marker. There's crayons. There's he got one of those giant pencil. like those shitty artist kits you get for Christmas. Dude, I got one of those. <laughs> Pika. Yeah. I am Christian Weston Taylor, Sonichu's creator and author of this comic. This is his story and nothing less. I'm just gonna warn you right. right now that it quickly deviates from a story about Sonichu, who just won about Chris Chan venting about his real life frustrations, turning into both a sexual and kill fantasy. Oh god. But y we don't hit that until like issue five or something. <laughs> Meanwhile, just, just gotta adore the Sonic and chaos, perfect chaos. Looks like we have Pikachu through a grassy knoll. Also, Christian knows nothing about comic layouts, so it's half the time it is extremely hard to tell which panels you're supposed to read first. I'm reading yeah. the left one all the way down and then... Yeah, but you yeah. can't read the left one all the way down because there's supersonic right there and he transforms on the right side, so it's the top left. The yeah, and you read those three panels down. Oh, no, I see you you're can't saying. read it down. <laughs> Like, naturally, you would do that, right? But that's not the order it goes. A surfing Raichu. No, They're this was right. made in 2004. A Navy Raichu. Look at how chunky that Pikachu is. It's canonical. Pikachu was chunky in 2004, right? Pikachu's missing five of his vertebrae right there. 
But we see a rainbow and we see yeah. Pikachu and then so, 15 miles away there's a girl right So now. if you notice there isn't a lot of text right now which is a blessing because in later issues entire pages just become walls of text. <laughs> Alright so Pikachu transforms and so does Raichu and now there's that abomination and Sonichu, our testicular character. That's not the right word. <laughs> Who is this what? human woman? Who is this human woman? Raichu, I saw the gas. Who are you? Where's my Pokemon? <laughs> gas, again. Kel, I am your Pokemon. I was hit by a rainbow now. I have transformed. Oh my, you're as beautiful as a rose. As a rose, I need a new name since I'm a new Pokemon, so you may call me Rose Chew. <laughs> Copyrighted. Who, who's that woman? Kel. Kel? Yeah, Kel. It's, it's Rose Chew's Pokemon trainer. Sonichu wakes up. Oh, uh, gasp. I've changed, huh? Sees the battle going on. The battle's on. I've got to help. Time to zap. Some horrible action scene. Thunder! Roar. <laughs> It's dope, bro. It's a full art panel. That's how you know it's a big, big moment. Sonic! 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 Yay! Later. Wow, what a battle. <laughs> Not only that, but I've received super speed, a new body, and above all else, I am able to talk like a human. Wow! And apparently, I look like that hedgehog I've helped earlier from the cheers. I guess his name was Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic had just about the same abilities as I do wow. now. And I guess I'm now Hedgehog too. I am a new Pokemon. I am no longer a Pikachu. So with inspiration, I am now Sonic. <laughs> Isn't in Comic Sans this whole thing? <laughs> yeah. I, I love Comic Sans. And from then on, Sonichu went on to make new friends as well as enemies, and he will use his abilities to stop evil and to save the world. Stay tuned for more zapping adventures of Sonichu. <laughs> That's not the yeah. end of it. Oh. Oh, 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 it's like the SPS. It's like the breakdown. Uh, but da 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 creator Sonichu, whatever. <laughs> Location. <laughs> Bell, I just... If you look underneath the location thing, it says the city name, and I just want you to try to read that off. Wait, under the picture? Yeah, of like the Tetris block and like the sign. <laughs> okay. It is set in and around the city of... What? <laughs> <laughs> How would you pronounce that? CWC Bell? <laughs> it's Quickville. A vibrant Quickville. community with good people and average... Um... A mong. A mong. A mong us. A mong us. <laughs> I am the mayor. <laughs> All right, so we got characters. Sonic, 16 years old, and I would like to state that he has Sonichu as 16 years old, but later mm. draws on a full-on sex scene between Sonichu and Roshu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, God. How old, Roshu? <laughs> Ah, uh, 15. People oh. in Japan. Spunky and very beautiful. I, I would also like to bring up that pretty soon you're going to start seeing some very racist implications. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chris Chan is unknowingly, openly racist and homophobic and Black sexist. Black Sonic Chu. Black Sonic Chu, aka Blachu. Sonic Chu's evil twin who was created at Giovanni's lab from Sonic Chu's DNA with an accidental dose of cherry cola. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and also we got Nate Zerk, which is just Christian backwards. It's Nathan. No, don't do that. No. <laughs> Wait, what? How is that Nathan? <laughs> Nate's oh, not here, so it he just... can't defend himself. So, as I was talking about the racist implications, all right, so we got the chaotic combo, right? There, there, there's <laughs> just the jumping ahead. Their story is that they they were eggs that were created in the crash between Supersonic and the Pikachu, and they all hatched. So you got the Magic Chan Sonichu, who's a psychic electric. This is awesome. Wild Sonichu, who's grass electric. Bubble Sonichu, who's water electric. Angelica Rose Chu's flying electric. And Punchy Sonichu. And Punchy's backstory is he grew up in a dojo filled with Asian men who knew kung fu. 
and uh, I would like to point out that every other one of these hedgehog Pokemon fit the format, the I format, to where the Sclera is connected, <laughs> but Punchy <laughs> kind of has a little different I format. Growing up in an Asian dojo and knowing kung fu, and I just Holy shit. oh my god, <laughs> it's a little thing. It's I was gonna a ask why, is, why are his eyes not connected, but the rest yeah, of them are. Yeah, I. I guess I got my answer. <laughs> yeah, flame the sunbird. I I genuinely have no idea where this bird came from. Probably like Banjo Kazooie or something. Flame the sunbird is the protector of the master sunstone on the mysterious Rainbow mm -hmm. Island. And of mysterious origins, three more electric hedgehog Pokemon were Rock Quick Fill, Chris Chan Sonichu, Sarama Rose Chu, and Wesley Sonichu. Now, for context, Sarama <laughs> Rose Chu is based off of Chris Chan's childhood friend named Sarah Hammer, who she distanced herself from him. As she should. And Wesley Sonichu is Chris Chan's half-brother who wants nothing to do with him or his mom. <laughs> I was wrong about what he was an ex-boyfriend of Sarah while Cole Smithy was Chris Chan's half-brother, but I was right that he did despise both Chris Chan and his mother. This is more complicated than Game of Fucking Thrones, dude. <laughs> 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 Chris has just, like, forced them Yikes. into this fantasy he has for himself. Yes. Oh, God. They're in his self jerk off <laughs> fantasy. And then there's Mary Lee Walsh. Mary Lee Walsh was a counselor at the college he went to, and Christian tried to hold up a sign to solicit a boyfriend free girl, which was said on the sign, and she told him to stop it because he wasn't allowed <laughs> to, so he just made her the devil. And then there are jerk offs. Sonichu in episode 2 Genesis of the Love Hogs. Oh, since my transformation, a new bigger body needs more food than before, and nuts and apples can't cut it. It's been over a week now, and I'm so hungry. Not only that, I feel so lonesome. And then here's Roche True. Uh, it looks like she's falling down a mudslide. And about to drown to death. Huh? A Mario question block. <laughs> She's dislocating wow. her shoulder in the next panel, it looks like. Wow. <laughs> and now she is running away from him, as she rightfully should. Where's she running off to? I'm just gonna stalk her like a crazy man. 15 minutes later. So she lives in that cabin, huh? And with her trainer. Maybe I could get a bite as well. Did you have fun, Rosie? Ah, so so! <laughs> Look, come on in, I'm fixing some fun things too. I don't know what that is either. I have no idea what Brunswick Stew is. Mm. Since my transformation last week, I felt so lonesome because there's no oh, other God. Pokemon like me to love. I'll relax, Rosie. What about my Dragonite, David? He's loyal. Oh, come on, Gil. David's just too big for me. You can have him. I don't want him. Well, can't say I didn't try. Hey, for all we know. <laughs> hey, for all we know, your love could ju just be could be just around the corner. Or right at the door. I'll get that. Hello. How may I? Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, I'm just the wild one who hasn't eaten much. For over a week, can you help me out? I don't believe it. He has a Pokemon who. Uh, uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> it has got to, like, learn me about him. <laughs> Come on in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name? Sonichu. <laughs> My name's Rosechu, but you can call me VNT Time. How about I call you Rosie? Oh. Hey, girl, we have a guest. That's my nickname. They're in love. Oh, uh, <laughs> boy, I thought I was a cute I think she's cute anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and now we cut to Cal A posing in the door frame. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fun, bro. Wait, wait. I like how flat they are. Who is it, Rosie? <laughs> 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 Dude, we can't. We can't Sorry, fucking but... take this serious. Her a posing. The stew's done. <laughs> they got me, bro. I laughed so hard I puked in my mouth. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
god. It was almost done. Like, yeah. hell, this is Sonichu. He wishes to break bread with us. Hello. <laughs> Wow, another hedgehog Pokemon and a male <laughs> for Rose. <laughs> I just <laughs> might be fate. I just remembered that peril that's coming up to <laughs> Wait, what happens next? <laughs> One night a few days, I can only imagine. Is it just porn? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> porn doesn't happen till issue eight. Oh god. Can I get some moonshine before I read this shit? Yeah, go for it, B-Man. Dude, I've already had plenty of shots. You should, you should catch up. Oh, uh, I need to get something. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did Chris Chan switch it to read right to left all of a sudden? Yeah, what's going on? Is it like... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Isn't the night sky so romantic? Oh. I could just sit here and look at it for hours with you. <laughs> yeah, but then we fall asleep together. And I wouldn't want to have another. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think you drink a little too much, B Man. And I wouldn't have it any other way with you. Wait, oh, Sancho, I'm happy to be with you. <laughs> Wait, it's so. <laughs> He's... Are you okay, B Man? <laughs> I like how you said he's going so fast, but you're literally reading it. No, what I'm saying is. It doesn't make sense, yeah, but then we fall- I mean, this whole comic doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make what... sense. I mean, it's why am I trying to... to- Why am I reading it like it's just supposed to make sense? Uh, as, as a wise man once told me, don't try to understand the delusions of a madman, because then you yourself become mad. Oh, Sonichu, I'm so happy with you. I love you. And I love you, Rose Chu. <laughs> as often as birds tweet, you are delusional. <laughs> You are my lovely heart sweet. Heart sweet. Oh, Sonic here! Get ready for the masterpiece. <laughs> is this gonna go hard? Is this gonna make out? Oh my out? god. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> oh, wow. Their faces morph and stretch. I forgot about the fake advertisements. Oh, boy. Sonichu is a Pokemon, so catch him on Game Boy a dance. Get zapping with him <laughs> and the chaotic combo. Game Boy Advance Pokemon are registered trademarks of Nintendo of America, Bro. also on True Material Copyright, March 2000-2005 by Christian Weston Chandler. Episode 3, Sonichu vs. Nate Zerk. That's the kind of That's whack shit I'd come up with when I was like 5. It came out in 2000. He was at least 18. I think he might have started writing this in 2000 and finally published it in 2004. So you was 22. <laughs> Nate Zerk, <laughs> son of Giovanni, Team Rocket, bigger than light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. now. Then we will fight. Zapdos, go. I can't even believe it. Even I can't believe this. Even after what happened. <laughs> Earlier, when Kel had to run some errands at Quickville Mall and allowed Rosie to borrow her credit card, Kellen. Oh, it's not a choose reading. Kel and Charper need to make sure Rosie didn't spend over a hundred dollars. At first it was easy to work <laughs> but then all of the sales and coupons. Twenty dollars for this lovely bracelet. Hey, seventy-five percent off. All right. Well, I'm not Superman. Thankfully, Kel gave me cash for lunch. But how was I noticed that cheeseburgers had pickles? That salad was great. What's wrong, sweet bull? I, I, I hate pickles. And then, just, what is this? Shatter. The fucking Zapdos busted him. <laughs> Zapdos snatched my love. No. Help! Which brings us to up to date. Which brings us up to date. Please excuse me while I save my uh, Wait, the I battle. Uh, uh, drill pack, mega kick, wing attack. It has all these Pokemon. Double dude. team. Double Come team. Use Zapdos. Yo, he double teaming. Ooh. Final blow, countdown. Ten, nine, eight, ah, seven, <laughs> six, five, four, four three, two, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I could miss out on this. <laughs> it's so hard to tell what's going on. Yeah, that's the one. Such, what happened? They all electrocuted a... the Zapdos? Is that what happened? Is there five yeah. of them? I'm Aren't they're both electric types, though. Ah! 
That's that's the Zapdos. Oh yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your victory now, Hedgehog. But we will meet again, and when we do, I will capture you for my father and Team Rocket. Let's go, Raikou. <laughs> he just said they run. They, they they run away. Hooray! That's where it's... they at CBS Pharmacy. What? <laughs> you don't see that. Thank you, Sonichu. You're my hero, sweet bolt. I was astounded with with how you battled Sonichu. Wait, what? You rock? Thank you, Sonichu. As Mayor Crickwell, I congratulate you on your victory, and I thank you for saving the day. Good job, Sonichu. Thank you. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> well, Sonichu, I feel this comic book is my best work yet. I think so too, father. <laughs> but well, all I'm this excited. fantastic creativity, you still are girlfriend free? It bothers me too, but I never give up. I'll find a boyfriend free girl around my age yet. Well, I gotta go fashion square ball to try again. I love oh. the argument where it's like, I can't ever find a single lady. I need to find a boyfriend free girl. Doesn't he make like an advertisement, like a take the take this flyer or like call this number? Christian used to walk around the mall in his college camp with the sign, and in his criteria, he says he has like an age range and like a weight range and everything. Like he wants a below average or average weight girl, whatever he himself is like very overweight. Uh huh. And on top of it, on the poster, he says like, no blacks. <laughs> 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 and, and, but he he defends this choice by saying that God gave him a prophetic dream where he had a daughter and the daughter was white therefore his wife has to be white you have a lot of Chris Chandler in your noggin don't you <laughs> There's a whole docu series on he, Unfortunately. Sub episode 1 Christian Chandler and Jerk Up Tastrophe Sigh well, it's been over one year and seven months, and I still have not attracted a boyfriend-free girl. This love quest makes me suffer some frustration. <laughs> and the other things that add to that are my loneliness. So many failures in all those men other than myself, because they have taken all the pretty girls, leaving me with none to choose from. Sigh. I would like to know so that sad. the Sonichu next to his signature is probably the most well-drawn Sonichu. I like his signature. I was going to say something about that. It's literally just cursive. I mean... <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he copied it off of his mom. I like the sonnet you hit. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. that. That's pretty cool. And those evil jerk ops won't leave me alone either. I'm just a lonely, frustrated virgin looking for true love. Sigh. Hey, I'm calling you out. <laughs> huh? I'm so sick of your complaints, dears. On and on about how lonely you are and how you need a girlfriend. You're nothing but a lonely lassiter. Shock! <laughs> so just leave me alone, you villainous jerk off. How dare you, you jerk? I am only looking for true love and trust. No dice. <laughs> My fellow jerk offs will fight you and force you to leave. Cuff him. I don't want to fight, but if I. But if necessary, I will defend myself. Yeah. Oh shit, uh, epic fight scene. <laughs> oh shit, it's he, the Sailor Moon scene. He breaks out of the cuffs and decks a dude in a dick. I'd better transform quickly! <laughs> Electric Hedgehog power! And more Sonichu lore. Out of like Crayola model magic, he created a Sonichu medallion which wears everywhere, including whenever he showers. That's awesome. So he's transforming into Sonichu. Yo. Here we go, let's rock it! with things that make you go, huh? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> Everybody dance now! Okay, now watch me. Metal armor equipped! <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> Rocket punch! They're back in the mall again. Mm. Mega kick! Black miss or back missile. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> sorry. My expectation for this is uh. <laughs> Double team. Oh no. Laser beam. Miracle. Thunderbolt. Ah, uh, my armor. Give up now. <laughs> Leave me alone, and we can end this battle. <laughs> he pulls out a nine. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Barrier. Fuzzy wuzzies get you hugs, prickly wicklies get you snugs. You gave me a slug, so you get my secret ultimate tech. Kirsten, <laughs> <laughs> No 
way a guy my age made this shit. <laughs> this is wild, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I no. didn't feel a thing. Oh, you will. <laughs> Whoa, my glasses. Chief, your wife just called. She has divorced and left you. She took all your things and she took your children too. <laughs> also, she loathes you for your filthy smoking habit. No, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? No! I have cursed so you with weird. bad luck and extreme misfortune. My so And then he yells out the Eshu ball, special Pokeball. Whoa, the what ball? The Eshu ball. It's a specific Pokeball that Christian designed to capture Sonichus. Ah, interesting. This would not have happened if you had not challenged <laughs> and threatened me, as well as not leaving me alone with my ever so frustrating love quest, calling me a li lying solicitor. Picked on my methods of attracting a ball for free 18, my current age, <laughs> year old girl whom I can love and trust, and most importantly, handcuffing me on night. Oh, <laughs> Wait, so did he actually get handcuffed? Yes, at the mall. What the fuck? <laughs> so he's just recounting this time. I hope that you've learned to never mess with a truly frustrating bunch of what he is on a quest for a girlfriend to share true love and trust with. My soul hurts. So did mine. <laughs> and, and my heart and... was previously shattered too. Oh. <laughs> and that, that's the end of issue zero. Oh my god. I felt like so... multiple storylines. That was weird. It, it was. I'm so confused. I feel like tapping out. <laughs> that to what, the extreme. What questions do you have, Cowbell? I just, I don't understand a damn thing that's going on. Well, it's quite simple, you see. Sonichu was born, Roshu was born, they beat Nate Zerk. Black Sonichu is a thing, haven't met him yet. Christian mm -hmm. uh, cursed some cop for kicking him off the premise for soliciting. Oh my god. He's just a poor little version that can't find love. No. I'm gonna head to sleep. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Good too, call, Cal. Too exhilarating for me. The storyline. <laughs> you should read up on some uh, some Chris Chan lore. Just don't read it. <laughs> yeah, it you know what? Really, just, just don't. Stay I mean, away from it, Bell. You don't really want to fall into this rabbit hole.